Mr. Attention would like to brief, briefly uh, make any submission. Yes. I, I also seen the clippings myself. <laughs> um, but I was wondering whether uh, it would be an in-house procedure or whatever uh, for the things to be taken up instead of on the judicial side, you launched it. You're looking at a larger framework. I don't know whether I think so. But I, but I, I, we I feel, quite see what I, you are I saying. I feel, my lord, I personally, my lord. But I also look I, at, I, when I was in Bangalore, I had also spoken to members of the bar, not only about this incident, generally about the Honorable Judge and few other things. So I think you'll also get into a larger inquiry. It may have some other, some other implications. I Lord, after the learned judge himself, my Lord, clarifying, sometimes, my Lord, we also say something, bench also says something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, only thing can be, my Lord, that now we are being, and we are under the gaze of the public, and uh, on both sides, we have to be a little careful, my Lord, that's all. But I don't see, my Lord, any reason to stretch it uh, beyond that. That's my personal view, my Lord, and assistance to your Lord. That's important. Uh, the attention of the court was drawn to media reports pertaining to certain comments attributed to Justice V. Shishananda, a judge of the High Court of Karnataka, during the conduct of judicial proceedings. Stop. In this backdrop, come on. A Suomoto proceeding has been registered fixed up on 20 September 2024. The Registrar General of the High Court of Karnataka <coughs> was requested to submit a report after, on seeing, after seeing the administrative directions of the Chief Justice of the High Court of Karnataka in regard to the subject matter of the Suo Motor Proceedings. Yes. <laughs> a report has been, a report dated 23 September 2024 has been submitted by the KS Bharat Kumar from a Registrar General of the High Court of Karnataka in pursuance of the above directions. The report deals with two proceedings before the judge, the first of which took place on 6 June 2024, the second on 28 August 2024. Full stop. As regards the first proceeding, comma, the, uh, the, the before that we say the Registrar General has submitted a transcript, duly translated, a, a, a duly translated transcript. together with his, as a part of his report, bearing in mind the fact that some part of the dialogue in the court had taken place in Canada. Full stop. The proceedings, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the report, comma, in so far as the proceedings of 6 June 2024 are concerned, contains the following uh, is set out below a a, a copy that low uh, the report also contains an elaboration it contains a, a narration of the proceedings which took place on 28 august 2024 and is reproduced below bb
things. The High Court of Karnataka has notified the Karnataka Rules on Live Streaming and Recording of Court Proceedings 2021 with effect from 1 January 2022. Report of the Registrar General states that live streaming of the court proceedings is conducted in accordance with the rules and is transmitted through the official YouTube channel of the High Court of Karnataka. As of date, it has a subscription of 1,38,000 subscribers. So the High Court of Karnataka has also notified the rules for video conferencing for courts 2020 with effect from 25 June 2020 to regulate the conduct of court proceedings through the video conferencing mode. That's very different. Good stuff. The, vid the video recordings <coughs> in relation to the court proceedings on 6 June 2024 and on 28 August 2024 are a part of the video con are a part of the video recording officially maintained by the High Court of Karnataka. Stop. Next. Uh, after this court had taken so much notice of the above developments of, of the above uh, events on 20 September 2024, uh, the court presided over by Justice B. Shishanda. assembled on 21 September 2024 and in the course of the post-lunch session, comma, the judge in question proceeded to read out an address in the, president, in the presence of the members of the bar, including the president, secretary and other office bearers of the Bengaluru Advocates Association Good stuff. The report of the Registrar General contains the text of what was stated by the judge in the course of the proceedings on 21 September 2024. Thus, CC copy As in the case of the earlier two proceedings, uh, the video clip containing the above part forms a part of the official video recording of the Karnataka, maintained by the Karnataka High Court. Good stop. The video recordings have been submitted to this court in a pen drive. Next. The proceedings which took place before the Court of Justice Vishri on 21 September 2024 indicate uh, the learned judge has indicated that bracket one, certain observations made by him have been quoted out of context in the social media, semicolon, bracket two. The observations in the court of court in the course of the court proceedings were unintention, unintentional and were not intended to hurt the feelings of any segment of society or any individual in particular, semicolon. And record three, an apology is being tendered if any section of society or any individual, to invert commas, has been directly or indirectly hurt by the observations, into invert commas, made by the judge, into brackets, referring to the observations on 6 June 2024 and 28 August 2024. Good stop. Bearing in mind the contrite apology which has been tendered by the judge of the High Court in the course of the open court proceedings on 
21 September 2024, we would intend to, we, we would uh, consider, we consider it in the interest of justice and the dignity of the institution to not pursue these proceedings further. So stop. However, before concluding this segment of the proceeding, which could have been uh, all this segment of the uh, this part of the proceeding um, would be necessary for this court to make some observations in general. Um, Full stop. Since Justice Sri Shanda is not is not present in this court, uh, don't say that. We have consciously desisted from issuing notice to the judge of the High Court of Karnataka in the interest of maintaining the institutional dignity of our. High courts and the judges who man them. Full stop. Conscious as we are of his absence in these proceedings, Pama, we are the observations which we make should not be uh, the, the observations which we make would be consistent with the need to preserve the dignity of the judicial system. Stop. Next. Uh, The prevalence and reach of the social media has included wide reporting of court proceedings. Full stop. Most high courts in the country have now adopted rules for live streaming or, as the case may be, for the conduct of video conferencing. Stop emerging as a necessity in the course of the COVID 19 pandemic. Video conferencing and live streaming of proceedings has emerged as an important outreach facility of courts to promote access to justice. Stop at the same time, all stakeholders in the judicial system including judges, lawyers, and litigants, including parties and, uh, in, uh, and, and litigants, particularly parties in person, have to be conscious of the fact that the reach of the proceedings which take place in the court does not extend to 